In the reverence of the word, we're going to stand up. And we're going to read Matthew 25. Matthew 25. New Testament. The new book, Matthew 25. The parable. The parable of the wise of foolish virgins. We're going to read the verse. The first verse. Until the fifth verse. <clears throat> Amen. <clears throat> then the kingdom of heaven shall lighten the virgins who took the lamp and went out to meet the bridge room. Now five of them were wise and five of them were foolish. Those who were foolish took the lamp and took oil with them, but the wise took oil in the vessels with the lamps. But while, but while the bridegroom was to lay, the owls lumbered and slept. And at the midnight, a cry was held, Behold, the bridegroom is coming out to meet him. Then all the virgins arose and trimmed the lamps, and the foolish said to the wise, Give us some oil, for the lamps are going out. But the wise answered, saying, No, as there should be enough for us, and but rather those who wish well, and buy yourselves. And while they went to buy, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went with him in the wedding, and the door was shut. Afterwards, the other virgins came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But they answered, and he said, Assuredly, I say to you, I don't know you. Watch therefore, for you know neither day nor the hour in which the Son or man is coming. We adore you, Lord, because of the. We supply, Lord, that you can. That you can bless us tonight. We pray in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please be seated. The word of the Lord says, it speaks of a moment, a, a prophetic moment that the church of Lord was going to live. That the church of Lord will be living. And he makes a comparison that the feast of a wedding it's compared to the feast of the of the king of heaven a feast in the eternity and he speaks of ten virgins were, were invited to this feast they were chosen and the ten virgins that were chosen accepted the invitation the ten virgins that were chosen received from the owner of the feast the father of the groom the best to, because to go into the feast in those in those in those time and those biblical time and those Jesus time the invitations received received the dresses to them from the owner of the feast so they provided them the dresses for them to to wear and sometimes they ask how how do you got here with, without the proper the proper dress and the proper proper tire yes they were crying and grind and one of the characteristics to participate on one of those feasts of from the from the for the for the father of the groom that they will have to be virgin ten women that had not contaminated themselves they were virgin that never had any relationship 
ten people that resolved, that decided to wait for the groom, for the promised groom. So ten virgins. And we're doing in the spiritual aspect. People that are servant of Lord that separated and waited for the moment for the moment that we're living for the rapture of the church. Ten people that accepted the project of the Lord in their lives and never accepted any, never accepted other type of project. This is what means that what means ten virgins, pure and immaculate. And, and in the book of songs, it, sp it speaks, speaks of one is the immaculate, one is the only daughter of her mother. And the Bible says that it speaks of ten virgins that were dressed adequately that receive the verses and when they talk about feast and dress they talk about salvation receive the salvation in Christ in Jesus Christ they accepted the plan the project of Jesus for her life and the Bible speaks that that those ten virgins those ten women they had they have lamps the lamps that's a lamp. And we can observe one thing in that lamp. That's made of a... Yeah, if it breaks, it breaks. It's made of clay. It's made of clay. Yeah. The clay is a type of... We are fragile, just like that, clay. And small. David was very rich. I'm a poor and in a need, but the but the Lord takes care of me. And then the oil to put in the lamp was a small portion. And because it's because it's a small portion, because the lamp is small, we are small. And the Lord pours pours the oil the bless of the Holy Spirit upon our lives. But this blessing needs to be refilled, renewed each day. The mercy of the Lord renew each day, each morning. So these women, those virgins, they had lamps. They had lamps like this. And they left, they left to, to meet with the groom. Those virgins, they knew the way. They knew where, where the place of the feast would be. The, 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 one of the Jesus, Jesus disciples say, we're going to have him prepare the place. And Philip says, how can we go if we don't know the place? And Jesus says, and Jesus says I am the way, the truth, and the life. So these virgins knew the way. They knew where the place of the feast was going to be. So the church of this last minute knows the, knows the way. Jesus is the way. And they know that this feast won't be here in the earth. The, the feast will be in eternity. So they had all the knowledge. All the knowledge. They knew in details everything that was going to happen. But they knew, they, they only, they didn't know about one thing, like we didn't know one thing, the day and the hour. Neither the groom. Because in the tradition, in the Jewish tradition, only that, the only person that knew the day of the feast of the groom is the father. And the father would order the son, order the son to marry. It's to see the characteristics, the characteristics to, is for them to look at the house, if the house was ready for the group, for the feast. So, so the Father, Jesus is 
is preparing. It's preparing the place for us to go. So when the Father understands it's this, it's enough for everyone who come wrapped in his church. So all this, Stern Verges knew all of this. All of us know all about it. The majority of the Christian world knows all these things. But now it starts a separation. There were ten. But uh, those stands, they divided in two blocks. Or in two parts. Ten were prudent and ten were imprudent. So ten. No, it's five. Right? Ten divided by two. Five imprudent and five prudent. There's a song. There's a whole song that says, Crazy is the ones that leave you. They were bound in you. But that's, there was five prudence and five crazes. The crazy one taking the taking the lamp, they didn't take the oil with them. In other words, when the Lord looked at those five women, the crazy one, the, when, the, when the when the Lord looked at all the ten, there was no difference. There was no difference between them because they were all looking the same, the same dresses. They all knew the way. They all went to meet the groom. They all had lamps, they all had lights. But the detail was the was the oil, was the reserved oil. So that nobody would see. Nobody can see. The only one that can see that the oil that, that has oil in the reserve is our Jesus. It's our salvator Jesus. He sees everything. <laughs> but the prudent took oil with them and the lamps. So they took the reserve oil, five. The other five didn't take the oil with them. And the Bible says later on the groom. So the, so the, the groom were late and, and they fell asleep. In 2,000 years they've been announcing the return of Jesus. It's not going to be late because Christ Christ shall come back. That's a song. And we'll see Jesus. But here, the ten virgins, Jesus says, well, they're taking, they were late. So, got tired. The inflation. All the suffering. All the persecution. All this made at this Ten virgins fell asleep. They fell asleep. But in songs, and Solomon says, I fell asleep but my heart. And you know what's written? When they say that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I'll fall asleep but my heart will take care of it. And what made that? All that wife and con songs in songs, the book, the book of songs, five two. I slept by my. He is with the voice of my love. So what woken up those ten virgins were the voice of the love, and what wakes up the church at this moment that they were living. And a lot of us are still sleeping. It, what wakes us up is the voice of the beloved. He, behold the voice of the Lord. He is the groom. So midnight. So midnight there was a there was a shout. There was a plead. And, and, the, and the announcer, whoever announces the end. The, and the groom entrance was a friend of the groom, and who is announcing now the enter the entrance of the groom is the Holy Spirit of the Lord. It's Him who is alerting us. It's Him who who's telling us, "Here's the groom. It is time to wake up from the sleep." Paul says that. 
It's time to wake up from the sleep because our salvation is it's close. So this moment, it's a moment to wake up. Wake up. It's the voice of the friend of the groom. It's the voice of the Holy Spirit. This momentum prophet, prophetic moment that we're living. But midnight and cry was heard. And with that shout, with the awakening, all ten virgins will waken up. All ten woke up, all ten virgins got prepared. They will they prepare the lamp. But when but when the crazy women they were preparing the lamp they found out something. There's something missing obviously the oil. Lamp without oil will not identify us to go into the feast. What identifies the servant of the Lord to go into the feast is the light. The revelation. Lamp for your feet. Lamp for your feet is your word. It's your word is the Bible. And light for the way. It's the it's the revelation. It's the it's the word of revelation. In the last minute, there was the missing light, and without light, in the darkness, without light, it was not close to midnight. It was midnight. The third, the third verge of midnight. The the. The, the darkening, the darkness moment, and, a, and in the moment of darkness, the light shines more. Because there's a song that says, "Shine over me, your light." Sometimes, he, if he comes in the first, first video and the second video, first video is from six to nine. Second video. It's from 9 to 12, 6 o'clock, 7 p.m., 8 p.m. The serve of the Lord cannot. Cannot be like this. If the, the church that shine over me, the light, in all the moments, our lamp needs to be filled of oil. It has to be full of oil always. We need to be in the revelation because we don't know the day, neither the hour that the Lord will come. Midnight. It's a prophetic. It's a prophetic. It's a prophetic time. It can come any time, 4 o'clock in the morning. At noon, midnight is a prophetic time. It, it's not exactly midnight that he's going to come. It's a prophetic time. So at this time that we, that we leave, that we're leaving, we have to have a reserved oil for our lamps, to fill up our lamps. So the virgins, the virgin, yeah, give us some of your oil and lamp are going out. But they, who was it? So my experience of salvation is not going to save my son. It's not going to save my daughter, my mom, my dad. The salvation is individual. Each one will, will have to deal with Jesus. So my experience, it's not a reference. Because I cannot save even myself. 
no longer know the person. If I divide, if I share my experience with someone, it's not going to bring any benefit because you experience it, the Lord, it's yours, it's individual. And the, and the, and the wives, and they wanted that. They wanted, to, they wanted them to share them the experience, the Holy Spirit, the Spirit experience, the observation. And, and the prudent said, so if I do that, if, if I share that, I'm going to miss, you know, I'm going to miss, all, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to have enough oil for all of us. I cannot depend on a man. Yeah. The man that trusts the man. It's when I make a, the V a favor, and when he makes a favor to the V, the V owes a favor back to me. But the Lord doesn't want that. You know what the Bible says, brethren? No one owes anything. Do not owe anything to anyone besides love. It, so it's not asking for the oil from your brethren. It's to seek for the oil. It's to, it's to go after the oil. The Bible says that that the olive oil comes from the, oil, the olive tree. The olive tree the olive tree, truly all olive tree, Jesus is, is Jesus. For Jesus to give this oil to you, to me, and to put in my lamp, you know that the olive oil, that's the fruit of the the olive tree, to give, to give, to, to make olive, it has to be pressed. It has to be very compressed. You need to smash it. You need to smash the olive. Yeah. Yes, crushed. Yeah. It's crushed. It has to be crushed. In the cross, in the cover cross, the oil was poured. On the cross. Yes. Over there on the cross of the cover. A high price. A high price was paid for this oil was to be poured in my flesh. A high price was paid for the Holy Spirit to be rest in my life, in your life, in our lives. A high price was paid. And the prudent wives, the prudent, understood that. They, they looked for the oil. Because they recognized a the high price. The other ones were not. The other ones weren't. The other ones didn't make any effort, didn't recognize. They never worry about anything. The imprudent women, they didn't care about it. You know what Jesus says? Seek first for the King of Lords. You're not solicited. You have everything. Sometimes the Christian person is worried about his his Christian looks, what he's eating, what he's dressing. Jesus, Jesus speaks about body. Interesting. Yeah. The exercise now has to be a spiritual exercise. It's spiritual. The gym of Jesus is now, it's, it's pray, it's fasting. It's only dawn pray. Seek first the kingdom of the, of the Jesus. And today the gospel looking for all, everything else. The imprudence are going after everything else. But the prudent people are seeking for the, the last minute, the kingdom of the Lord. Kingdom of this. That's why the lamp of the prudent virgins were, were filled with oil because they were seeking for the Lord. They prepared for the moment. 
they knew that at each moment in a blink of an eye the groom will come to the party and there's no time for you to prepare in a link of eye you don't have time for it the prudent virgin reply after the other virgins There were no more oil. Today you can buy a lot of things. But oil, the price was already paid. You don't buy it. It's free. The salvation is free. We have to recognize, we have to recognize the high price that was paid for that, for my salvation and for your salvation for our lives. The Bible speaks about that the, the wolves will prepare enter with him. Which, which, which virgins were prepared? The ones that had the oils, the ones that had the lamp, lighten, and they didn't say anything. They didn't say anything. The lamp was, the lamp was lit, and they went in. Why is that? Because they were prepared. The lamp was the lamp was was held in a chest so the groom could see the face and they could see the way too. And the prudent virgins that had the lamps filled with oil, they didn't have to say anything. They were identified they, and they entered in the feast. The five virgins that didn't have the oil in the lamp, midnight, they didn't have identification. Why? Why they didn't have identification? Because they didn't have the oil. They didn't have the light. The Holy Spirit was not there. It wasn't present in their lives. That's all. And those who were prepared went in for the feast. And the door was closed. And the grace, and the door of the grace was 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 closing. We are living the end of the period of the grace. We are living the end of the period. And each moment, and any moment, the door of the salvation will close. And Brandon, and after the five prudent virgins went in for the feast, for the wedding. The word said, the word says that the other ones came, and the other ones came, and in front of the door, they said, after the other virgins came also saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But the answer, but he answered and said, assuredly, I say to you, I do know you. Yeah, not everyone that says Lord, Lord will go into the, will, will enter in the, in the kingdom of Jesus. Yeah. But, but those who make the, the will of the Lord, so His will is that we, His desire is that we have our lamps lit and oil in our lamps. Open it. And from inside, the Lord said, I surely said, the Lord said, I do not know you. Why? Because they, they had no light. They couldn't see. They had no identity. They had no identity. Because the light was, was not shining. So he could not see the faces. Yes. I do not know you. Jesus says, but I, but I multiply the bread, I cure the sick people, I should know these people. Yes. 
Salvation is to say, Lord, Lord. The lo salvation is to do the will of the Lord. And the desire of the Lord for that moment is that the virgins, the ones that were called and the ones that were chosen, the ones that received the oil and the baptism of the Holy Spirit, that they were prepared for that moment. Yes. Your wisdom. Yeah. Your That's why the Lord says, be careful, be alert, because you don't know the day and then and, and you don't know the hour, that the, our Lord Jesus will come. Amen. A song, please. Prepare. Prepare. And that's the desire that we can prepare for this moment. That's close to come. Let's stand up, please. The Lord showed man. And his, uh, and his wish is that he could come in here. But where would I go? Where would I go with the Holy Spirit? Our Lord is, He knows. And the Lord identified this man not to embarrass him, but to say to him that, that He is the Lord, He is the God, and His eyes are, are aiming to His life. And that tonight He wants to prepare you for you to participate in the the desire of the Lord is, is to bring you again for His presence, to, to save you and, and to deliver you from it and make you a vase. Dear Lord, we 
We plead you that your body can be prepared, your Holy Spirit that can be poor and prepare us for the return of your Son Jesus. We pray because it's the poor for the grace and the love of mercy. We plead for the grace and they can take us to our house peacefully. We pray in the name of Jesus. In your name we say the grace, beautiful grace, and the love of Jesus, and the eternal consolation of the Holy Spirit be upon you, Jesus. You will please be seated. Thank you. We want to remind the church that tomorrow at 10.30, we're going to have the third class for the fourth trumpet for children, intermediate and adolescents for the church and for invites. <coughs> and 11, <coughs> we're going to start our biblical school at 10.30, the church, intermediate and adolescents. And at 11, we're going to, st we're going to start our, our, sun our Sunday, our Bible study. So we're going to be here with our, our kids, with our invitees, participating in the event. <coughs> so starting tomorrow, we're going to start the period of praise, 15 minutes, 24. A 24 hours pray, on stop. If you have given your name, please give your name. Put your name on the board. You know, find your time so you can participate in that. We remind the church that on the next Saturday, we're going to have here the, the evangelization with the, uh, the adolescents. And, and all the church are invited to participate with the brethren. Uh, the f November 24th. <coughs> November 24th. <coughs> it's the day of the shout. And we're going to have a message that will be transmitted for, the, for, for 174 countries in the world. It's the moment that the Lord calls us to be together so we can bring our you know, invitation, our, our guest. So we can hear that word of Jesus. Amen. If anyone desires a prayer, please raise your hand. So we'll, uh, so we'll assist you.